am PhD in cardiovascular medicine, Ain Cham School of Medicine, and uh, ACCME instructor for CAS CME in Egypt. Hello, Dr. How are you? Hello, how are nice you? Nice to see you. Me this too. Year in Me too. What do you think about Cardiolics this year? Uh, this year uh, is tremendous and good, like every year. And uh, the conference is growing a year after a year. Uh, with a lot of uh, diversities in the uh, uh, subjects, uh, a lot of uh, foreigner, eminent foreigner uh, professors, each in his field is a, uh, an eminent one. So they add much to the uh, Cardi Alex and to us. And of course, the exchange between uh, them and uh, us is very important because uh, culture uh, exchange and concepts exchange, uh, the experience exchange is very good and that's why the great conferences uh, are held for. Okay, uh, what did you present this year? Uh, as regards the presentation, uh, I will choose uh, one of the, in my opinion, one of the most important uh, subjects as regards the dyslipidemia, uh, because uh, the treatment of this lipidemia is well established uh, globally that we uh, give uh, statins to the patients but uh, we faced a lot of inconvenience in uh, some categories of the patients or some medical scenarios they do not reach to the goal these patients do not reach to the goal uh, we have an LDL uh, as the uh, uh, most important parameter to be uh, reduced in treatment of this epidemia. Statins do a lot, but do not uh, do everything. Uh, emerging modalities and emerging drugs uh, have been uh, there, uh, and they tried by these uh, modalities to broaden the horizon and to lessen or to lower the LDL to historical levels that haven't been reached before. Uh, we, com we try to compare both uh, strategies and to judge which of which or which of which in each scenario, each clinical scenario would be uh, beneficial more than the other one. Uh, the question is still open. I try to raise questions uh, rather than giving answers because uh, the dilemma is still open till now. Uh, we tried just to bring the audience to the uh, field of the uh, dyslipidemia and the field of how to manage the patient uh, as regard the aggressive reduction and the uh, protection that the patient would have from these aggressive reductions. Okay. Um, for the doctors, uh, how to prepare for a cardiac catheterization? Look, it's a very big question because cardiac catheterizations, uh, we can talk about the congenital heart disease, the coronary heart disease, structural heart disease, uh, many and so many uh, clinical and uh, in, uh, clinical indications for to do so. Uh, I would uh, like to uh, advise, if I have the uh, the right to do, to my uh, to my patients. Uh, to, to, to my doctors, to my colleagues, sorry, we are talking to our colleagues now. Uh, try to, I'm talking about the coronary intervention per se, uh, try to classify your patient from the start, if he is in acute chronic syndrome, myocardial infarction, uh, non STEMI or STEMI or unstable angina. This is a, a, a clinical scenario that differs much from the elective uh, coronary PCI. So uh, try to uh, discriminate between both indications. When you are facing acute kidney syndrome, you are trying to save life. With elective uh, catheterization, we are uh, aiming mainly for quality of life and improving of the symptoms. Try to not to enter the uh, cath room without a surface ECG, echo in a very uh, trustable uh, center to judge what is your ejection fraction. Try not to enter the uh, cath lab if you have 
controversy about this patient if he goes to surgery or PCI. Heart team is now uh, the standard in these cases. Uh, of course, uh, in elective cases, try to make your patients metabolically neutral. Uh, the diabetes mellitus or the, the blood sugar level uh, to the uh, most acceptable level. Uh, the hypertension also uh, trying to explore the uh, what you are, you are going to do for your patient. You are going to put a stent, you are going just to have a diagnostic uh, coronary angio and to judge uh, after. Uh, try to put your patient with your court. Don't decide with yourself, with your team, and with your patient. Thanks a lot, Dr. Price. Thank you. See you. See Thank you. you. Me too.